Everyone wants to have superpowers, but too much superpower is not a good thing. The man with the pus repped head is the best example. He is the descendant of Medusa snake Hirdemanus. In order to please those small snakes, every day to take a small bath for three hours. But this time there was an accident. The towel on the mirror outside suddenly slipped off, and the man didn't even notice. When she finished the shower and pulled back the curtain, he was petrified by himself. Then look at the boy. In order to be able to please the girl, he likes painted a large spider. Miraculously, the spider actually crawled out of the book. The girl slapped it to death directly. This girl is a freak in the eyes of everyone. Who will go with her to talk about feelings? In this gothic dark world, everything seems so suspenseful. Wednesday is the name of the girl. The more people fear her, the more she enjoys it. Lately she has been plagued by fantasies. In the hallway of the school, she opens a store locker door only to see her brother being bullied. She rushed to untie her brother, but just as she touched his little hand, Wednesday suddenly seemed to be in electric shock. She inexplicably saw the whole process of her brother. Being bullied saw the people who were bullying him. The best thing she could do was how to take revenge. Wednesday came alone to the school swimming pool and found the group of bad guys who bullied her brother after they saw the girl and said she was a freak. Wednesday calmly took out the big bags of Duranas directly and threw them into the pool. The only person who gets to torture my brother is me. The piranhas were like unbridled wild horses rushing towards them. Not waiting for the boys to climb out of the pool, they came straight to a sterilization operation. Looking at the screaming boys, Wednesday smiled and admired her masterpiece. Of course after this incident, Wednesday was fired again. In the end, her mother had no choice but to send the girls to Velmer Academy, a place that everyone called a haven for freaks. This school is also the place where Wednesday's parents met and fell in love. They have been in love for so many years. And no matter where they go, they are still very much in love. The eldest daughter looked sick to her stomach and vomited a few million times. Even the driver and brother in front of her just rolled their eyes in disgust. Wednesday and the roommate in its introduction learned that this school is really not ordinary. Alien, freaks and monsters are the labels of this school. There are for freak groups at this college. The group that wears sunglasses during the day are vampires, and some of them have been living here for decades. And then there's the group of dumbasses who gather together as orcs, the so-called werewolves, who show up once the full moon arrives. I am still in the twilight zone from the last time. I heard the story of vampires and werewolves, and the girl who was all black is the forest people. Her name is Bianca, and she is the queen of this academy. After learning about the place, it was time for her to say goodbye to her parents. It turned out that only the girl was put into the academy that was like a prison. The mother realized how much she was sad when she was really separated from her. The husband looked at the sad and tearful lady and comforted her. Don't worry, my love. Our little scorpion won't be alone. Then the father toggled the mechanism. Then a broken hand jumped from the car. After adjusting its direction, it crawled towards the college. This is the most faithful protector of the family. Can ensure the safety of his daughter? Of course the premise is not to be found on Wednesday. That night in the forest next to the school, there was a terrible murder. A man traveling on foot was attacked by an unknown force. By the time the police found it, the man was long dead, right down to his limbs being dismantled alive. The man's arms were hanging from a tree, which smashed the other two attacks last week, should be the work of the same perpetrator monster. Based on speculation, the sheriff suspects that the murders must be related to the adjacent nave. More college, the second day of school, Old Wednesday did something big. She wanted to challenge Mary, who was known as the queen of the school. In her infrastructure class. Anyone else want to challenge me? I do. You must be the psychopath they let in. And you must be the self-appointed queen bee. The first two games they always played a tie. To the third game, Winstead proposed to take off the mask to remove the arrow. See blood that when Mary had never encountered such a wild opponent, she decisively agreed. But after a fierce struggle, it was won by the more skilled black girl. The dark girl failed for the first time, and her face was injured. While dressing her wounds in the infirmary, she loathed her incompetence. She had never been so humiliated before, but here she got to know Rowan. I know how you feel. I guarantee you don't. Although Rowan wanted to make friends with her, Wednesday refused with an icy face. She pulled open the infirmary door indignantly, completely oblivious to the broken hand behind the bucket. Wednesday had just left the infirmary when the building on the high floor suddenly fell down. Fortunately, someone appeared in time to save her, falling to the ground. Wednesday passed out and soon woke up again in her hospital bed. When faced with the rescuer, 
A normal person would say thank you, but Wednesday blames him for meddling. Instead, she finds this way of dying quite novel. Wednesday was writing in her dormitory at night, when she suddenly felt a strange noise in her bed. Wednesday slowly walk over, lift the covers. The bed a severed hand appeared in front of Wednesday. But Wednesday did not feel strange at all. The broken hand saw Wednesday and fled in fear. Wednesday grabbed it directly and viciously. She pressed the broken hand on the table. She knew very well that broken hand was a puppet sent by her parents to spy on her. Oh, thing, you poor naive appendage. The way I see it, you have two options. She also gave show to ways, either to be isolated in John House forever and enter hellish torture or serve her forever and become her right-hand man. Broken Hand was intimidated by Wednesday and decisively chose to kneel down to show obedience. Wednesday told it that their first task was to escape this dark and hellish school. So on the second day of seeing the psychiatrist, Wednesday said that seeing psychotherapy is a waste of time. So she found a reason to go to the bathroom, let the Broken Hand take out the knife that had long been ready, and open the window with a flick of the switch. She used the pipe to slip down again. She managed to escape while the principal in the car was not paying attention, but because of too much anxiety, she bumped into a farmer selling fruits on Wednesday. The next second, she felt a strange electrical sound coming from her brain again. She then saw the farmer's future. Soon after, the farmer would die in a car accident. When she woke up, the farmer saw the school uniform on the girl and called her a freak. Wednesday turned away without a care in the world after hearing this. She went straight to a nearby cafe to have some coffee and ran into Taylor, who was fixing the coffee machine. She ordered for espressos. However, while she was waiting for her coffee, three men in strange clothes approached her. After they saw the girl wearing the Moore College uniform, they started to pick a fight. Taylor saw Wednesday being bullied and planned to help. But Wednesday was not as easy to bully as her brother. She stood up directly and looked at John with no expression. After spinning 560 degrees, she directly knocked some older boys to the ground. The nearby police heard the sound and quickly came to investigate. After learning that Wednesday was from the Adam family, they were ready to keep an eye on her later. At the same time, the principal also found the escaped Wednesday. On the way back to school, Wednesday also saw the farmer who died because of the car accident. It seems that her superpower is real. That night the coffee shop boy was resting in his room when he suddenly heard the sound of tapping on the glass. Taylor slowly got up and approached slowly in the direction of the sound. Just as she pushed open the window, a broken hand jumped out. Startling her, Taylor swung the bat. The broken hand took advantage of the vacancy and ripped the bat off. Taylor threw up her hands in surrender. At this point, broken hand tapped the table with his index finger. Okay, I'm taking orders from my hand. She opened her palm and showed the janitor a series of phone numbers. And when she called, it was Wednesday. It turned out to be the Harvest Festival soon, and she was going to use the opportunity to escape again. That night she successfully helped Wednesday to cover, but Wednesday has not gone far. Today, during the day, the three boys who were beaten by Wednesday, once again looking for them, Wednesday was running away, but bumped into her alumni. Mo One, using her ability to foresee the future, Wednesday saw Rowan falling to the ground covered in blood. She kindly came to persuade Luo One, but he was pushed out 10 meters away viciously using his psychic powers. It turns out that Luo One recognized the girl as Wednesday, based on the painting her mother drew 25 years ago. Her mother has a very powerful ability to foresee the future. He wants to kill me because of some picture. She was a powerful seer. Told me about it before she died. Rowan, put me down. No, because she will destroy the school and everyone in it. Seeing that Rowan was about to hit someone, he was torn to death by a monster. <laughs> Wednesday immediately reported what she saw to the police and the principal, but the police didn't believe it at all. They were still arguing when the door suddenly opened. The man was actually Rowan, and unharmed.